Hey Aquarius, welcome to your June 2020 Who's My Future Partner reading. This is Lauren with The Clarity Cure. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel today, I want to let you all know that I'm doing lives here on YouTube uh, once a week. It's a tarot Q&A, so you can jump in the chat and ask me anything that you would like and I'll answer your question. It's all free. Don't feel obligated. I would love to see you guys over there or come um, and subscribe and hit the little bell icon. This way you're notified when I go live. Um, only people that hit the bell icon will be notified and sometimes that's hit or miss too, but it will definitely be weekly and I'm kind of leaning towards Thursdays. Um, that works well for me, but it's not to say that it wouldn't hop on, you know, just for fun without setting a date either, but huh, okay. And also want to mention that I formed a membership here on YouTube. So for a small um, contribution every month, you can definitely be one of my private exclusive members here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to be offering educational videos. Nothing here will change, but this will be in addition to, okay? So if you want to learn tarot, you want to learn um, about Reiki and energy healing, um, I'm definitely going to be sharing yeah, my experience with you guys with that. I'm going to dig deep into these live chats that I do with my members and give you a little mini reading. So check it out in the link below in the description box. Or if you go to my main channel, there's a join button. Don't be shy. You can click that. That doesn't mean you're going to join right away. And then you can see the three tiers that I offer. And it's a great way to support my channel. All right, guys. So I do appreciate that. All right. Meditated shuffled Aquarius. Let's get into this. Very, very nice energy for June. You have the lover's card as your overall. So this is definitely a soul connection with somebody that's meant to be. And um, it's beautiful. It's resonating at a very high level. So I do feel this future partner, somebody that's coming in for you, um, will definitely come into your life this month. Now, it's kind of interesting because who is my future partner and what are they like? You got the Seven of Cups. You know, it could very well be that this person is maybe confused in their life right now or just feeling very overwhelmed. Uh, maybe they got a lot going on. Um, you can see they're looking up at these seven cups, trying to decide, you know, what do I want? Where am I going? What am I manifesting? There's lots of possibilities for this person, even though they will probably very be a very attracted to you and feel inspired to get to know you. Um, I want you to know that's kind of what's going on beneath the surface with this person. And it's interesting, you pick up on something here, Aquarius, because you feel that they are very blocked. This is your first impression of them. Okay, the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is somebody that doesn't trust themselves or they're, they're lacking um, the connection to their heart because they're all in their head. You see how her eyes are covered here. So this person's actually kind of well, they're not blocked. They're emotionally confused. So I wouldn't, it's more about their heart and not so much in their head, but you get it. You know, you sense something is off, right? Um, it could very well be that your interpretation is that they're trying to make a decision, which yeah, they are. They're trying to pick which cup, you know, <laughs> maybe there's more than one hen in the hen house. Okay. Something like that. Um, but you know what's really interesting? How will I meet this future partners? You receive the higher font. So I love this. This is beautiful spiritual energy. As you can see, the higher font is depicted by a pope. Uh, this could be through a religious organization you meet this person or a Taurus. Taurus is represented by the higher font. This could be somebody older and wiser that maybe introduces you to, or you meet this person through your community. It's very possible. Um, this is a very conventional, you know, follow the rules kind of person. Um, and I think you would, you know, respect this person's opinion to definitely, you know, be introduced to this person, but you also know that, you know, something is up, right? So maybe in the beginning of June, it's a little rocky and look, we've all been through a lot with the lockdown, the pandemic. People are now trying to get back to work. Um, so 
a lot of that could be going on as well here with this person. So they're trying to make heads or tails of what's up, right? Now, I do see an invitation. I do see that this person will eventually ask you out. But like I said, um, I, it may not be towards until towards the end of the month. That's what I was going to say. We have two, we have three <laughs> eclipses coming up, Aquarius, okay, in a row. Two of them will fall in June. June 5th, we have a lunar eclipse, uh, full moon in Sag. And then on the 21st, which is supposed to be really kind of the big one, uh, will be a new moon solar eclipse um, in Cancer. And this is going to be the last Cancer um, nodal kind of goodbye for, what, another 20 years or something like that. We've been in Cancer Capricorn. Whew, can't wait for it's over for the last 18 months. And I think we all need to shift perspectives. We, we're moving, the North Node is moving into Gemini, South Node, Aquar, um, Sagittarius. So we have this new vision. And I think we're all being propelled forward, especially with the country opened up. And I'm talking about, you know, not only personally, but there's a lot going on in the world as well. So the Magician card, how will this person uh, affect me in this relation? Well, what will I feel like? And the magician is is promising. I mean, to me, it's a very entrepreneurial, independent kind of energy. But when it comes to love or relationship readings, you feel this is somebody that gets you. Okay? So you have plenty to talk about. You're like, wow, this is the ideal partner for me. Maybe you connect spiritually. Okay, because it is next to the higher font. And there's a certain level of um, vibration or frequency between the two of you. And um, you complement each other. I love it. I mean, and you're moving into him or her finally moving forward with the Knight of Cups here. This is an invitation. Mm -hmm, baby, it's my knight in shining armor to get together, go on a date. Uh, it's a messenger. Uh, knights are already in motion. So it will happen in the month of June that you will go out with this person, spend some time with this person. He's This is a messenger depicted by a messenger with an invitation. You see how he's holding the cup. He's bringing you the cup, the offer. Okay. And there's, there's definitely attraction here for sure uh, with the lover's card. And you two complimenting each other and connecting very much on a spiritual level as well. But again, I don't like this blockage. So stay to the end, by the way, I meant to mention because we're going to clarify this. Okay, dig a little deeper with clarifying cards. Now, your obstacle is the moon. Yeah, so there, there could very well be like this feeling of not all is known or this hidden influences at play. I don't feel there's deception, but you definitely are picking up here, okay, that something's going on um, with this person. And you just don't know what your path is ahead, you know, ahead for you. Like, you feel maybe, like, unsure um, of what these, this person's feelings really are. But I want you to know, well, interestingly enough, though, before I go there, do have the Five of Cups as your final outcome. So this is a very pessimistic kind of energy. The Five of Cups is emotional, upset, guilty, um, feeling sad, uh, can't get over, whatever has hurt them before. Like they're really kind of stuck in the past here. You can kind of see they're not looking at their options. So maybe they're transitioning. Um, and they don't really know what they want. Remember you know, this is who they really are right now because they're stuck. So we need to find out what's going on with this Five of Cups. But I think with the Moon card here, you're you're like, what's up with this person? Like, we connected. Um, we have so much in common. We complement each other. So why is this? Hmm. And we need to clarify who they are as well. They could be an air sign. Um... But they could be a water sign as well. So we're going to clarify that too over here. But let's look at the Five of Cups. Leaving the month of June, why is there a little bit of um, depression here or 
Aquarius, Aquarius not feeling. Mm. I was just picking up June 21st here, the solar eclipse. No, yeah, that's the that's the new moon though. I'm looking at this, I'm feeling full moon. So it could be very early on in the month that you feel as though you're not sure where you stand with this person. Okay, so let's let me just do a little bit shuffle here for you guys. We're gonna clarify the moon, clarify the five of cups. All right, what's going on with this future partner? Why is the five of cups here for Aquarius? Okay, what do we got? Ooh, nice. Two of cups. Five of wands, competition. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Uh, too many people involved. Or there could be some conflict with an old soulmate that needs to close. Yeah, they need to close the door here. And look what's at the bottom. Oh, my God. I love when the cards repeat. you got the two of swords again. So... You know, it's really interesting, um, Aquarius, that you're, you're kind of on track in a way that I feel like the message here is the same. Like you really kind of understand that there's a blockage with this person. So they need to close the door here. You know, the 10 is great, okay, because it, it, it's time to transition and move out of this mental torturous energy however if this person does not pick themselves up the 10 remains a 10 and you're stuck here in this energy 10 reduces to a one so this is more about picking yourself up by your bootstraps and moving into a new cycle in your life so this person is really struggling with making a decision to move forward and and get out of the past okay I mean that's really amazing all right so let's who is this person I want to know what is the skinny let's let Aquarius know seven of cups two of swords is this about a past love an old soulmate I feel like you guys are soulmates too, but you know, if they're blocked, they're not seeing it. They got to get out of their own way. And I think it's going to take time. Um, I, I mean, I see progress in June. I think this person will get kind of over themselves or this is something maybe if this resonates for you, you'll be able to talk to them about, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's get a little bit more insight. It's beautiful otherwise. Why is there always a monkey in the road, right? It's always... These little roadblocks we have to deal with. And look, this doesn't have to be huge, you know. I mean, this could be, oh, I love it. Oh, my God, this is your lover. <laughs> He's going to be your lover, that's for sure. Look what's at the bottom. Holy cow. You're definitely going to have to hang in there, Aquarius, because this is really quite promising. You know, this is that momentous moment coming for you. Everything coming full circle. This is your lover, you know, the cards are starting to repeat here, and tens are great. You know, I feel like you, you get, uh, this is going to turn around, right? You got two tens here, you know, and um, one's kind of tough, and one's very positive. Now, what I'm also picking up is, is that this person probably ended maybe a relationship, a, a marriage, a long-term commitment. Yeah, see, another ten, ten of pentacles under here. And they're moving on. You know, I feel like it's definitely over, but they're, they're struggling to find their way. What else we got? Yeah. Wow, this person is going to commit to you. Whoa. I'm seeing marriage. I'm seeing commitment. I'm seeing legacy, money, Aquarius. Damn, this is amazing. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Congratulations. You got all the tens going on here. The tens that way you're gonna, you know, definitely release um, and transition here because you're gonna have to deal with this. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna celebrate here too as well your success in this relationship. Um, 
I also feel there could be some, like this is internal battles as well, not necessarily many people involved, but it could be. You know, if, if this person had a family, you know, everybody might have something to say. Um, but it is about an old soulmate, an old relationship, um, not being able to see their way clear here. Could be some guilt. There could be some, I don't know, if this is a very spiritual person, they could be a person of the cloth, but that doesn't mean that they can't be in a relationship. It, I guess it would depend. It would depend on, um, you know, the particular religion, you know, because the higher fund is, is, is a major arcana here. Okay, so did we get an indication on their sun sign, moon, or rising sign? Is this a water sign? Who is his future partner? Could be Gemini. Let's see. Can you give me a court card, please? I want to clarify this Knight of Cups real quick. Who is his future partner for Aquarius? The Fool. This is Neptune. Yeah, so definitely feel like water energy here. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Let's just go with that for now, especially with the Knight in Shining Armor. And you got the Moon card here. That's another Pisces card. So amazing. Very, very nice. I want to wish you all the best here, Aquarius, you know. Um, I think this is definitely going to work out in your favor. There's just some hurdles, some mini hurdles to get over here. You know, not every relationship is perfect and everybody has baggage, right? So listen, I want to let you know that I'm on Instagram at The Clarity Cure. I do little weekly readings over there on IGTV. I'm on TikTok, guys. I'm doing um, daily oracle pics. Oh my God, I love TikTok. Oh my God. I'm telling you, that the only thing that the only way I survived this quarantine was watching TikTok videos. I love people. They're so funny, so creative. It just made me laugh. I mean, one time I almost peed my pants. I mean, there's such a great, it's such a great, if you're in a bad mood, go watch TikTok. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to say, right? And probably many of you already know. So listen, many blessings to you guys for a great June. I'm available for private readings as well. Okay, information in the description box below. We'll see you in July, and definitely try to connect with me when I go live. I'd love to see you there, okay? So take care, Aquarius. We'll see you next month. Bye-bye.